What's up guys? What's going on? This is Sassy Paz here. This is my first YouTube video going up in quite a long time uh, regarding uh, channels. So, you know, this isn't my first channel. I started back in YouTube in about uh, in on 2010 with uh, when I was a little bit younger, you know, but uh, let's get right into this. The reason why I'm making this video is it's for streaming. Yeah, if you're one of the guys and you're like me that runs a Netgear N900 adapter or anything that connects to either 2.4 gigahertz or 5.0 gigahertz, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Uh, so recently I upgraded to Windows 10. The first issue I encountered was I was only able to connect to my 2.4 gigahertz connection, which to some people may not be that bad. Hey, you probably don't stream or you don't have uh, you're not playing an MMO at the same time or you're content with your 2.4 gigahertz connection. Well, that's not the case for me. I really rely on my 5.0 gigahertz connection for streaming and for downloads in MMO playing. And usually this is at the same time I like to watch HD streams. I like to stream in HD and you know, this pro this really isn't the best quality right now uh, because I'm still trying to fix the kinks that Windows 10 caused, but I need to get this video out there. So let's get right into it uh i um some background information first because this case may be particular to you i downloaded my netgear n900 software uh when i had windows 8.1 previously i used an n uh, n400 or n300 i believe it was the n300 it was only 2.4 gigahertz so what i had to do to make this one work was uninstall the old netgear genie install the new netgear genie bam 5.0 gigahertz it worked Excuse me. But now, I thought that was going to be the same on Windows 10. It was not by a long shot. Uh, basically, with Windows 10, it forced 2.4 gigahertz on me, and I thought it was going to work, where just like last time, I decided, hey, I'd go to the internet, download the new drivers, because it's Windows 10, there may be new drivers, and I will, you know, log off of that, uh, remove the current software, and then reinstall the things that I downloaded off the internet into the computer little did i know that this didn't work apparently windows sees this device the netgear wnda 4100 n 900 as a foreign device if the drivers are not installed properly and you're gonna see the process that you have to go through now the last video i made on this i tried doing it it wasn't was not uploaded because it <laughs> Um, I thought the RNG gods were going to work with me, and they did not. Uh, it worked two times for me. I just made botches in the video audio, and this was when I had my Snowball. Now I have my Yeti. So, you know, audio is definitely a lot better, but I do not want to mess up my internet again because I do want to go right back into streaming. So get this. Uh, what you want to do is you want to have your disk from your adapter handy uh mine is still in the computer i'm too lazy to take it out but um you want to have the disk and this is where disk drives come in handy folks uh you plug that disk in and you're gonna get this you're gonna get this you're gonna want to click auto run and i'm not gonna do it again because i don't want to mess anything up but you want to go through all the steps remove the software you installed and then reinstall it and you're gonna get to a screen where it says Net, uh, netgear n900 uh please plug in your device and then click next do not click next because if you click next uh you know it's not going to hurt anything but you're not going to see your device it's going to say detecting device it should be instant which it was not and it doesn't find it you got to go into your devices and printers and you're going to see this as a foreign device it's going to be down here under unidentified uh devices uh possibly and you're going to see that it says with when you select this it's gonna say, uh, it's not gonna have a model or anything, but it's gonna say troubleshooting needed, connect to the internet. Obviously you can't connect to the internet if you're me and you rely on the adapter, because you can't connect to either your 2.4 gigahertz because the genie just doesn't wanna boot. Get this, keep that device thing open that you had that should be about this size that says click next after you plug in your device. You wanna click that foreign device, go to properties, go to hardware, properties again, change settings, all right? So let me just uh, do this again. Right click on that foreign device, properties, hardware, properties, change settings, you gotta be an administrator, and you go over to driver, 
update driver, browse my computer for driver software, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer, and you're going to see these two things pop up. Either uh, it sh For me, my first time it was three or four, but uh, it, for me it's now it's just two. Media Tech and Netgear. You'd want to select Netgear, click Next, follow all the instructions, and it's going to be it's going to recognize your device and this is a big deal it's like hey wow look at that my device is uh detected you click enter or next over on this box you have over here and the genie's gonna pop up and work and hopefully it connects to your 5.0 gigahertz connection this is a mix mash audio because i needed to get this out there all right i don't know if any of you guys had this issue but it really limited me in terms of my streaming potential. So what you want to do is you want to open your devices. You find it here. You click this. Uh, if you have media and you just click devices and you, you find that foreign device, uh, it shouldn't be light, lit up or anything in real life. Like if you're looking over to your adapter, it's not going to be lit up if you uninstall the software. But this is the fix. Uh, and I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but I... Uh, the only things that I got for results with this issue after I realized I couldn't reinstall my stuff, it said I have to go back to 8.1 or back to 7 and reinstall the drivers and try it again and pray to the Windows 10 gods that it work. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post them down in the comments below and then also check out my twitch.tv slash sazzypaz account. That is where I do a majority of my content. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, peace.